More COVID-19 news. A one-year-old's battle with the virus has been going on for a month, but now the terrifying ordeal is finally turning a corner. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale talked to the family today. Natalie, you have the update. Natalie, what's the latest? Ira Jackson's family says they can finally let out a sigh of relief. He's out of the ICU and has gone from fighting for his life to now slowly being able to function again. It's a very scary ordeal to think about losing somebody, especially children in the family that didn't have a chance to like live life. You may remember just over a week ago when News 4 first introduced you to Ira Jackson, the one-year-old fighting for his life in the ICU. It was a nightmare. I didn't know what I was going to do. We were afraid for my brother, his family, my family, my mother. Less than a month ago, doctors discovered Ira had COVID-19 and suffered multiple strokes, which we found out wasn't all that uncommon. COVID-19 leads to um, uh, hyperinflammation, um, which can cause um, inflammation even with, within the vessels which can lead to strokes and clotting. We absolutely do see it in, in pediatric patients. After his strokes, Ira could barely function. Ira was not able to look at us or respond to us. He didn't even know we were there. But now the Jacksons are letting out a sigh of relief because Ira is finally making strides in his recovery and is out of the ICU. Ira has turned a few corners. He does say a few words. Um, you can tell that he's trying to talk. He moves his mouth. Nothing comes out, but you can tell that he's trying. And his arms are moving, his fingers are moving, and so are his legs and feet. Even though her nephew's significantly better, Sandra Jackson still wants her family's story to warn people to take COVID-19 seriously. We're all walking around thinking, you know, it's bypassed or it's over or we're superhuman and we can't get it, and we can. Um, it doesn't pick who it wants, it just goes for it. I want to thank K4 for bringing the story to our attention. I want to thank the Good Samaritans. I want to thank strangers and everybody that are friends and family of us for the praying and the um, blessings for us to get well. Since News 4 first reported this story, the Jackson's GoFundMe page for Ira has raised thousands of dollars. The family says Ira will spend the next 30 days in a children's rehab center. Then he should be okay to go home. All right, Natalie, great story there.